All right, boys. Got a deck list here for you. It is the Bronzong Box 2021 Ready for Rotation Chilling Rain Updated list. And this is a pet project of mine that I'm going to be working on pretty much all year. So if you're watching me live, you'll see this list change a lot. But this is my first iteration. Basically, what you're trying to do is abuse this Bronzong here and hit for weakness. So this is gonna be very meta dependent. Just keep that in mind when you make this list and chop and change the pieces. So what I, how I'm gonna address this is I'm gonna say that there are five real like flexible spots here where you put your alternate attackers. Um, and then the rest of the stuff, in my opinion, is core, core importance. You have to kind of keep this stuff together. But anyway, boys, we're gonna address that stuff first. We're going to go for the 4-3 line here of the Bronzor Bronzong. Now, right now it is pre-rotation, so you could use the Bronzor that has 50 HP and lets you evolve in turn one. Uh, to me, that's not as important because it you can't really make a good turn one attacking play anyway, unless you're trying to donk your opponent here with Zashi and V, in which case you can just attach the Metal Saucers directly to Zashi and V. You don't really need to use the Bronzong. And on top of that, it's incredibly fragile, especially with Dragapult in the format. So you want to get that extra 60 HP, make them work a little harder to try and take your knock their knockout on a Bronze or in case you miss it. Because the deck does not function without Bronze Song, just letting you know that. We also got our two Zashi and V's and Trapid Sword, a super duper good ability. But then on top of that, Brave Blade, three for 230, one of the best attacks from a basic in the format. That's why we play two of them. We got our three Dedenes as well as one Crobat for our draw power. Once we wrote, once the Dedene rotates, we'll probably end up switching this over to three Crobats. Um, and then we'll have an extra slot to kind of mess around with. Um, on so we're going to get on to our attackers here and why I've picked them. I'm using Ninetales V to deal with uh, grass matchups as well as any of the uh, metal matchups, but unfortunately they do have coating energy, so that is something you have to kind of play around. But as long if you if you can kind of slap this down, hold it in your hand, slap it down, and then use your Bronzong mix on top of it, and you can kind of get a, early, a nice jump on them before they get a chance to respond. It's super duper good. Rhyperior is useful in the Eternatus matchup, which is a very popular deck right now as well. You just have to keep in mind that the Heavy Rock Artillery, you can't use it twice in a row. You have to switch and then uh, get it back into the active slot. So you got to kind of play around that. But Drilled Run is a pretty decent attack too, being able to discard energy off your opponent's active Pokemon, which can be huge in a pinch. Uh, we also have our one Milotic V here, which deals with the fire matchup pretty well. Aqua Impact knocks out all of the water stuff. It knocks out Heatran, and more importantly, it knocks out Victini V. It does 110 base times two, which is 320, which is enough to knock it out. Very, very good. We also have Zashian uh, that has Amazing Sword, which actually does uh, 300 damage if your opponent has any VMAXs in play. And that includes if it's on your bench, so you don't have to be actually attacking a VMAX in order to make this work, which is actually really good in the Corviknight matchup when they decide to stack their shit with, uh, with decide to stack their Zaki with like, I don't know, like metal goggles and if they even, if they use Luke metal and all that type of stuff, you can actually swing over that with Zashi in here if they evolve into a Quark Knight VMAX. Something to keep in mind, the only issue is, is that it does take two, uh, a Grass and a Psychic, so you actually would need two of your Roar Energies on it in order to make this attack work. We still play two of it though. Um, and lastly, we got our Eternatus V as our choice to deal with Shadow Rider Calyrax. Dynamax Cannon only does 120 damage, but if the active Pokemon's a VMAX, which Shadow Rider is a VMAX, obviously, it's gonna do another 120, which is 240 times two for weakness. Now, pre-rotation, this deck doesn't quite function as well because of the weakness guard and uh, very specifically rapid, st or uh, single strike, Ursh it's rapid strike, rapid strike Urshifu, using that Jirachi GX to stop you from hitting for weakness. But once that stuff's gone, this deck hitting for weakness is super duper good. Uh, we're gonna move on to our trainers, finally. We got our four great balls 
for consistency. Four metal saucers get our energy. So you got eight different balls here with the quick ball to try and search your stuff out really consistent. You got our three switches and two air balloons for our switching options. We got two chaos swells as our stadium of choice. Now we're gonna move on now to the supporters. We got our two bosses orders, four Marnies and four Presser's Research. Pretty standard stuff here. Uh, we also got two EXP shares. I really want to try to see if I can find room to four of these because this is actually an incredible card in this deck because being able to save your metal energy to kind of keep the momentum is huge and you're not always going to be, excuse me, you're not always going to be able to lean on metal saucer. To round out the list, we got 10 energy, four Aurora, six metal energy anyway guys let me know what you thought of the deck list down in the comment section and if you want to try the list out for yourself you're more welcome to it the uh, ptcgo copy pasta is down there in the description as well as of course you want to watch me live play this deck and test it as i progress through the year see my changes and all that type of stuff but now on to the gameplay i don't think i did Which is kind of unfortunate. God, I wish I would have got that gameplay that I beat. Um, or that I had against. No, I wish I would. No, I didn't beat him. Fuck, I didn't beat Sunny with this. I I should have beat him though, but I fucking choked at the end. Um. All right, so we're playing against Fire. So I don't want to reveal that I have this yet, and didn't end up getting my um. I end up getting my thing. That kind of sucks, but that's okay. Um, I can play. Yeah, okay. You, I only played it once. All right. So yeah, I didn't do it. Sounds good. Thank you. Appreciate that. Uh, we're gonna go into Zashian though. I'm gonna retreat into this and then that. Probably should have uh, saved the. Well, couldn't save the balloon to do that. All right. That was a really unfortunate draw. Welder, yeah, so we're just playing, uh, we're playing some, like, Victini, I believe. Double onto Vulcanian? Okay. Yes, so. Oh, no, it might be, uh, Mewtwo box. Because Welder doesn't play Aurora. Flare starter. Damn. Man's in some kind of trouble. Which is unfortunate for him. One, two, three. All right, that's fine. So I guess I just knocked this out. Um, so yeah, I'll just revolve that. Crunker has been fun. I'll have to download that and play with you guys at some point. <clears throat> All right. The age old question, do you research or do you dead A? Every time it's like you make you, you make the decision and it's like oh man I draw two of the other one or drop two of the same one but we're gonna research in this situation here. Yeah, good shot, good call there, Derek. Good call. We did it. Uh, still don't have any of my saucers. Saucers mod check. Saucers. Any saucers in the chat? Please. All right. Oh, well, we're gonna do this anyway. We're gonna go dead a. Saucers. Are you fucking only only one saucer? <sighs> Fuck me, dude. Oh well. Um, well, I guess we'll do that. Slap that there. Um, and then we can go armament here. Unfortunately, this is gonna get knocked out, but we're gonna actually save it with the Zashian. Um, if he bosses, he bosses. Uh, is it? Attached to your opponents. Yeah, what, what the fuck then? Double. <laughs> Man, this guy is in some kind of trouble. He really is. Uh, he did get out of it though with a with a bat. He went bat instead of uh, Dedene, which is actually really interesting. Here, welder, welder check, welder mod check. No welder. Let's go. All right, but oh, he's actually gonna. 60, 30. Ah, oh, fuck. He's actually gonna take knockout here. It's kind of unfortunate. Um, but then we're just gonna go into Zashian and knock him out. 
Oh, you know, you know, we're just, no, never mind. We're just gonna do that. He's just gonna do that. It's fine. Uh, yeah, we'll just move this energy there. Sashin's gonna come up, take knockout. Um, actually, ooh, balloons there. That's not great. Um, energy as well. Unluck. So we actually have to attack with Sashin here. <laughs> oh. That's really unfortunate. Yeah, we didn't really want to see that. Oh, still no, still only had, uh, what is it? One saucer this whole game. Um, all right, we got to Dene there at least. Uh, we can get rid of that. We don't need it for the matchup. Play the Milotic down. I think it's time to reveal Milotic. Um, We'll go for that. Ooh, double saucer. Don't mind if I double do. Well, single saucer, I guess. <laughs> um, it really sucks. I lost my. Uh, that was so. That was so unnecessary too. I could have moved my Aurora energy. Um, this, that, that really sucks that I lost my Aurora. Um, but that's okay. I guess we break blade here. Oh, that's unfortunate. <clears throat> Nine tails is our thing to show for. Oof. Wait, does this actually take knockout on Lieberhorn? Hold on. 60, 90, 120, 150, 180. So if he attaches another one, it's actually a knockout. That's kind of funny. Um, but I don't think he will. You're gonna head out, Purple Tina. All right, yo, thank you so much for stopping by, though. Appreciate you, uh, GGs and all that. Um, hope to see you again soon. And again, thanks for the follow. Appreciate you. We're getting there, boys. We are on our way <laughs> to 200. <Ugh. laughs> uh, slowly but surely, guys. Slowly but surely. Hmm. Uh, that's really unfortunate. Mm. That's just really good for us. MTN Dead Eye too. Oof. No. <laughs> so he's gonna take knockout here, unfortunately, and we can't save any of our energy with uh with the XP share because it's on the Zacian. That's kind of unfortunate. Perhaps I should put the EXP shares like under Dene's and stuff like that. So then I can always have EXP share active. Just uh, something that I need to keep in mind when I'm playing this deck. Oh, he's just going to switch back into Jirachi. That's kind of interesting. It means he's definitely got another switch here. Or another way to switch out. Ooh, first research. Did he support yet? I don't think he did. I don't think he supported yet. No, he did. Okay. Hey, what did he use then? Did he support? Um. I had a big turn here. No, he didn't support, eh? So that means whatever is in his hand is really good. do this we need to hit another one though i think i've already used three though yeah so i actually need to no i don't need to hit another one because aqua impact would be enough to knock out here um but i do need to hit dedene or crobat off of these well that's not dedene or crobat is this dedene or crobat this is crobat all right cool um it's really unfortunate that it's gonna be crobat for one but boys 
Heart of the cards. 12 cards left in deck. Uh, three of them are potentially the energy that we need. Crobat for one. Pause, oh, let's fucking go! Woo! <laughs> oh. Alright, we have to win now. Let's go. Uh, done. And we Aqua Impact take that knockout. Mmm! Destiny. Too damn good. All right. Now we need to finish. We need to find the finish. It really sucks. I like got to delete. Like got to let him keep his hand. I wish I could have married him. But beggars can't be choosers, man. That was still pretty good. All right. He's gonna escape rope me probably, which means we're gonna have to go into a crowbat or Dedenne or something like that. Kind of sucks, but whatever. Oh, you gotta switch at least. I'll keep my energy. He goes into that, just fine. All right, he puts Welder on top, interesting. Uh, we'll switch into Eternatus, and then we have to take Knockout on the Galarian Rapidash. All right, so whatever that is, it's he's gonna have Welder in hand plus. Elder onto that. Oh, Liberhorn is not a knockout. All right, yeah, that's fine by me, dude. <laughs> I don't care. All right, I'm past that. So, also top deck Marnie like a boss. Let's go. So, um, we're now going to attach here. I'm going to discard that. Get the uh, get the switch. Um, get the metal transfer. Dynamax Cannon is going to be enough for a knockout because this is weak to dark. Um, we're then going to do this. Um, we'll be able to save an energy. Um, of course, our hand here is kind of garbage otherwise, but Dynamax Cannon is going to be enough for a knockout here with the weakness 240. Uh, now we need to try to get a boss maybe out of the pile here. No boss, but Azakian's totally fine. Azakian's totally fine. Um, especially if we have another... Uh, if we have another saucer in deck, as long as that last card isn't... Um, yeah, if, if that last card isn't... Uh, saucer, we should be fine. <sighs> Victini does come down here for my opponent. He's gonna poke a gear. He's gonna go looking for his welder. Does have it. I mean, it's pretty pretty good odds of hitting it, honestly. Especially after a deck shuffle. Um, but does he have a way to knock me out? And if not, can we just top deck boss? Oh, he's just gonna boss. Ooh, okay, okay. That that's gonna be interesting for sure. Oh, he's just gonna boss and pass. Ooh. Okay, and he's gonna scoop it up, son. He can't handle the smoke. He couldn't find the answers he was looking for. Unlucky from my opponent, but a big old GG for the boys. Um, yeah, that was super duper good. All right, boys, that's gonna do it for today. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. If you wanna see me live, you can catch me over on Twitch. Link in the description down below. But until the next time, I'm Derek for Table 500, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.